Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the crab stitch border. So this is actually the fifth video in my border series. So if you haven't seen the other ones and would like to, I'll go ahead and leave the links in the description box. So this tutorial is pretty simple because all you're going to do is make a reverse single crochet stitch. So if you can make a regular one, you could totally make this one. And so for this stitch, you'll actually be working left to right instead of right to left. So it sounds kind of complicated, but I promise you it's not. So I'm going to go over all the steps from how to start it, how to work the corners and how to finish it. So some of the things that you're going to need to make this border is you're either going to need a practice swatch like I have here. This one is made using the Suzette stitch and um, the yarn I used was from We Crochet. This is their Dishy yarn line. This is the color Inlet and then this is the color Swan and Hookwise. I used a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. So you can either do a practice swatch or you can also just use your current project. All right, let's get started with our tutorial. All right, so our first step in making our crab stitch border is to add our second color yarn. Now I just wanna note that when you're making the crab stitch border, you're gonna be working left to right instead of right to left. So normally in crochet, you would be starting on this side, but with the crab stitch border, you're gonna be starting on the left side. All right, so let's go ahead and add our second color yarn. So go ahead and take your crochet hook, insert it into that last stitch, and then take your second color yarn, and you are just going to drape it over the crochet hook, and then you're just gonna pull it through. And then go ahead and move that tail end right here, just to the side, and then you just want to chain one to secure it. And then just go ahead and pull your tail end just to tighten it. All right, and so now we've added our second color. So now we're gonna make our crab stitch. So the crab stitch is just made using a reverse single crochet. So what you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and take your crochet hook and you're gonna insert it into that same stitch where you added your yarn. Then you're gonna take your working yarn and you're gonna hold it like this and you're basically doing a yarn over. So you're just gonna pull your crochet hook and then pull it through that stitch. And now you should have two stitches on your hook. And so now all we wanna do is just yarn over and pull through those last two stitches. And that is a completed crab stitch. So let's go ahead and make another one. So take your crochet hook, insert it into that following stitch. And now you're gonna yarn over. I always find that the first and second ones are always a bit tricky because the yarn over is all the way on the side, but you're just gonna pull the yarn over just like this and you're gonna pull it through that stitch. So now you have two loops on your hook and then you just wanna yarn over and pull through. And that's it, that's how you make a crab stitch. So let's go ahead and make another one. Go ahead and insert your hook into that third stitch and you're gonna yarn over and you're gonna pull it through and then yarn over again and pull through and there you go. All right, so I'm just gonna make a few more here just so you can see the pattern. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops. Let's go ahead and make one more. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through those two loops, and there you go. So you just wanna to continue to do that all along your border, and you should have something that almost looks like little waves. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a few more just so that you can see what it looks like when you're making your border. All right, so I've just worked my first side of my border and you should have something that looks like this now. You're gonna to start to see these little mini waves. So now we're gonna work the corner of our border. Now it's gonna be very simple because all you wanna do is just make one crab stitch on the side of your corner. So I'm gonna head and insert my hook and then I'm just gonna insert it into that stitch. I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through again. And so now we're just working on the side of it. So I like to put one crab stitch per row. All right, so here is my first stitch. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert my hook and I'm just gonna do the same method again. So yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over one more time to pull through those two loops. And that's it. So you just wanna continue by putting one crab stitch per row. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then I will show you 
how to finish off your border. All right, so I've just finished my last stitch of my crab stitch border. And so all you wanna do is, you wanna go ahead and take your crochet hook and you're gonna work it under these two loops to make our slip stitch. So go ahead and work it under those two loops and then take your yarn and wrap it over for a yarn over and then just make a slip stitch by working your hook under those loops and then that's it. Now all you wanna do is just cut your yarn and work in that end. And then you have a completed crab stitch border. All right, everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make the crab stitch border. Don't forget, you can always take a look at the blog post and I'll have step-by-step -step photos. The link for that will be in the description box below. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.